Hey there, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be going through the process of installing a light that has an outlet in it. So you can see how this one has a 120 volt plug on the, the base of this lamp holder. Now a couple of things you should keep in mind if you're going to do this. Um, the light that you're going to convert should be one that has power all the time. So this light happens to be only turned on and off by this pull chain. And what that means is that there's always power to this light. Uh, now, if you had a switch over on the wall somewhere, uh, when you turn that switch off, you would also lose power to this outlet as it is connected in the same way that the actual light is. Now, obviously, you can still use one uh, if you want to, but when you turn off the switch, it will kill power. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that you need to make sure that if you're in an unfinished space, which oftentimes these lights are in unfinished spaces, um, that you have ground fault protection for like in a basement like what we're in right now. So we'll need to feed this from a ground fault breaker in order for it to be absolutely safe and compliant with code. So those things, keep those things in mind. And now I'm gonna show you the process of just removing this lamp holder and putting this one in with an outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on for now. And then I'm going to go shut off the breaker to make sure that I turn off the correct one. And it looks like we've got the right one. And with that off now, we'll remove the existing bulb. And then pull out the screws. And when we pull this down here, you can see that there's just two wires connected onto this lamp holder. Now this is going to change, our new lamp holder is going to have a ground connection as well for that three prong plug. So you'll see what we're talking about there in just a minute. Now you can see how the black wire is going on to, in this case, a black screw, but normally it would be like a gold screw and then the white wire is going to silver. So we've absolutely confirmed that we have no power here now. So we're gonna go ahead and take these loose, just like so. And there we have our old lamp holder. We'll set that off to the side. All right, here's our new lamp holder. Now, when we put our screws on here, we're gonna make sure that we have the, the bend in the end of the wire going around to the right. So that as we tighten the screw, it also tightens the loop. So we're gonna take our black wire and go to the gold screw. So this one actually does have a gold screw, like I was saying. So we'll get that on there. And then we'll take our white wire and go to our silver screw. And let's go ahead and tighten these down. Let's get them good and snug, but we wanna be careful not to break the actual terminals that they are connected to. There's that, and it should be able to hang there safely while you get your third connection, which is going to be our ground wire. So if when you pulled your lamp holder down, you actually had more wires than this coming in, and you had two white wires and two black wires that were tied together, then a lot of times you'd have a pigtail coming from the two black wires to the screw here on the base of the lamp, or uh, hopefully not, but sometimes you'll see two wires connected on the same screw, that's not really optimal. You wanna tie those wires up together up in here and then run a, a second black wire or a pigtail black wire and white wire up to these terminals here. And then oftentimes you'll have your ground wires tied together in the back of the box with just a wire nut and they'll just be a ground wire coming in and a ground wire going out since these standard porcelain bases do not require a ground usually. So then you'll just add a grounding pigtail, which is what we already have available to us right here, so we don't have to do that today. Uh, but that's how you would do it if you had those additional wires. So we're gonna go ahead and bend the loop on this ground wire, just like so. And then we'll be able to hook that onto our grounding screw, like so. 
tighten our grounding screw down. All right, that's there. And now we're ready to attach our lamp base up into place. Now you can see on this particular lamp base, they actually give us a grounding tab here. So with this, we may have been able to skip that solid connection because you can see this metal up here uh, would connect from our this these metal tabs right there using this screw. So our ground connection would have been made, but it's always better to connect with the pigtail and don't rely on the screws because the screws can come loose or if someone took it down, it's just not as as guaranteed to be a good solid connection, if that makes sense. And we would actually have to use this inner tab here on this uh, connecting point to connect into that, that metal piece. And I'm actually just gonna use the one that's already pre-punched out. So I'm actually threading my screw into the plastic of the box anyway, so there will not be any continuity through that way. We'll be relying on the pigtail for our ground connection. So I'll get this up and in place here and then we'll give it a test. We got our screws tightened up, now we'll go ahead and install a bulb, and then I'll go and turn the breaker on. We'll give this a pull, and sure enough, we have, we have power. So that part of it was successful, we'll test the receptacle just real quick. And when we plug this in here, our green light comes on, so we do have power at that receptacle. All right, well that concludes the process of installing a lamp holder with an outlet in it. So if this video was helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. I'll put a playlist of videos right here if you wanna keep learning about electrical with me, and we'll see you over there in a few seconds. Thanks again. See you right over there.